we're going to follow the Dave Hocutt method, method of mic testing. With powdered sugar. With powdered sugar. And uh, what are you... <laughs> Oh, that's just to keep the sweat out of my eyes. <laughs> uh, we got a wide mouth quart jar, and we need to put uh, about a quarter cup of of uh, powdered sugar in there. That'll coat the bees. I have that already. I'm gonna get my jacket zipped up because once we get in there, they don't like us. Understand. It's just uh, powdered sugar. Yep. Just, just powdered it. sugar. It loosens the mites to go. To and fall you said about a quarter beans. of a cup. About a quarter of a cup of powdered sugar. And that's a quart jar. That's a quart jar. It's got a screen wire top on it. Right. An eighth inch screen, screen wire top. Yeah. And uh, just uh, about eighth inch wire, so the bees can't get out. Uh huh. They also don't like being in there, but right. it's their duty. It's either, that or alcohol, it's either that or an alcohol wash, which they really don't like. That's right. Yeah. That's a good point. This gives you ghost bees when you're done. Right. Yeah. So, it's like you've got a nice population going here. Oh, yeah. Get this ready. Get this ready. This is a, we'll, we will uh, scoop up. What, we, what we'll end up doing is getting a frame full of nurse bees, predominantly nurse bees. So we'll have to find a frame that has a lot of uh, cap brood on it. And then we'll shake Which the, the should nurse be, bees. Huh? Should be done. Yeah, yeah, we'll this, have to get. This is the oldest. Right. I added this. Uh, we'll have to, we may have to go all the way down to the bottom to find them, but it looks like you got a lot of bees. We'll, we'll use this to. Uh, uh, to capture the bees, knock the bees off into it, knock the bees off, and then scoop up a half cup of bees to put in the jar. Okay. That's uh, not too heavy. So that's, that, that, yeah, that's, that's means they new, right? That is a new. That's the newest. Okay. Let's just take a look and see what you got in here while we're at it. Let's look at it from the bottom. Dave Hocutt had how many? 16 hives, and he didn't lose any last year. Jeez. So Dave Hocutt is the guru. Uh -huh. So there we go. That's take that guy off. You want to get it? Yeah, that's pretty good. It's got some good weight. Wow, this looks good too. <laughs> your your brood frame. Well, and on that one, I transferred two brood frames from the bottom and moved them up to the. To that one. Oh, okay. And um, so you think most of the brood is in the bottom? Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely they were. Right, we're gonna check this guy out here. Uh -huh. Yes. Well, there's some brood. Uh, okay. That that's relatively new brood. There's yeah. some larva. If you want to get close. Yeah, I don't know. So pick it up. Pick it up or not, but I'll show it. So the queen may be there. I, well, Jane we don't, I, don't see her. Jane and I found the queen in each of the... Each hive the other day, yeah. when you were the last time you looked. Uh -huh. This looks pretty good. Uh, they're, th these are... They're filling this one with honey. They're filling this one with honey, too. And they're just starting to fill that next one with, with honey. This one has, any... has your five original nuke frames in it. Okay. I think. Probably. The dark ones. The dark ones? They have the two nails and the. Okay. Over here. I think it's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. This guy out and see what looks like a lot of honey. It's awesome. Well, it really is. That's alright, the end ones are usually. That's usually what's in the end ones anyway. Let's 
one looks a little empty. A lot of brood, lots of some larvae. I don't know if I can see any eggs, but there's a lot of larvae in that one. Oh, look at that! That's that's a good one. There's a little false queen cell, one on each down at the end and one in the middle. Those are generally just testing. Yeah, they're just working. To see, well, if we need to make one, we'll make one here, and they just make it and then stop. But that could become a queen cell at some point if they wanted to. That's nice. Oh, there, that's a good one right there. That one came in that spot. Try to keep them in order as much as we can. Oops. Okay. That looks pretty good. I think this is the one we'll use. Yeah, just make sure the queen's not on it. Uh, best we can. Let's see her on this side. Wow, there's a lot on this. There's side. a lot on this side. It's more like what my my hives were like. I had a lot of bees for some reason. There's a lot of bees there. That's strong. A lot that's of a good strong. Well, that's hive. a good strong pattern on your brood there. It's good. I don't see the queen. Nope, I don't see. I think we're good. We don't want to have the queen in that one if we can help it. She probably wouldn't like getting the powdered sugar dowsing. It was a rough treatment. A little rough treatment, yeah. Okay. All right. Looking pretty good. Yeah, All right. It. We'll bring this up where we can get to it. Set it right here. Is that all right? Yep. And we're gonna we're gonna dump the a bunch of bees in here and we set that over there. Oops. Alright. Ready? Yep. Oh they like that. No, they don't. <laughs> Not really. Get a couple bees, you drop them into the, bees. the jar and Put the lid on. And David's method is you shake them up a little bit, get them coated with the powdered sugar, and we let them you see them there all sort of like ghost bees, and you let it set for a few minutes. Okay. And we'll wait a few minutes, about five minutes. <laughs> yep, we'll just put everything else back. And we have another one? Should be another front Yeah, I got one. Oh, okay. Is that the, on the far end? Yep. Okay. We'll put these guys back in so we don't keep back them. Back in the same order that we took them out? Yeah. Oh, we just had a stink bug, a stink bug go down in there. I'm sure I'm, they'll take care of him. I'm sure they'll take care of him, yeah. See any beetles? That's a good sign. Very slowly, not trying to kill anything. Okay. Trying to. That guy didn't make it. Yep. I have a sting in my pants. Hmm. You move up against it. And... Okay, back to where, back to where they came out. I like to put the space on the ends and not in the middle. So that looks good, spacing. All right, we can start building it back up. Let's see, let's smoke them down into the... You ready? Well, I tried 
try to slide it on there so that they scraped them off anyway. But you're not always successful. Okay, that's about time. We're going to shake this up again. And the, the powder will get on the mites and cause them to fall off. That's the whole point. We'll do that again and then five minutes let it sit for about five minutes and do it three times total we'll put these guys back down if you want we should probably take another frame out of out of the uh, top one so top that there's just nine in there like we could would you, would you put it like this or this way Perfect. probably that way Space them out. If you space only nine, they'll build the comb out further. And generally, put in more. Uh, uh, Jane bought me one of these for Christmas. She bought you what? Oh, spacer. Yeah, the the uh, challenge is that they get you get propolis on it. It's like next to impossible. Okay, close. Get in there. That works. That works. That works. Great. It works better if there's no propolis on it. <laughs> Good to you, Chris. Looks wonderful. Just gonna leave it like that, and we'll dump the ghost bees back on top of this. Let's give them another shake. They've already been checking twice. Twice. Check so. it twice, so we do one more. And let it set for a few minutes. Get those mites off the bees. That's a good sign. And we'll let that set for a bit. Okay. And sort of. You ready? Well, that. Okay. Get all the bugs off of this. Here's, we're gonna shake. Oh, there's one. Oh, two. There's a lot. If you can see them in this, that means you got them. Oh, you got a lot. Yeah, there's quite a few. But we we also brought a spray of water to wet it down. Yeah, you got a lot. We need to treat this. Those things probably may not last year. There's a lot. <laughs> then they came from my you place. Said, uh, <laughs> four, five. More, more than five. More than five and you better treat. And if you got them in this hive, they're in that hive too. Now right, we're gonna we're gonna spray it. I'm gonna dump you. these. We're done with got a lot of ghost bees here. But they're alive. Come on. Come in here that won't come out. They'll eat that powdered sugar. That won't hurt them. Okay, we got them out. Okay, the procedure here is you, we can see them now, but when we spray it with a little bit of water, you can really spot. You can really spot them. There's a lot there, as you can see. So it's just a matter of counting, and more yeah. than five. It's probably it, yeah. You you and want to? And you're you're in serious need of treatment. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna buy Apovar strips and hang them down you, you probably do have at least 30 that's a lot let's do a real quick count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirty forty fifteen sixteen seven eight eight nineteen twenty two one two three two three two four two five two six two seven twenty nine thirty good guess he's, he's <laughs> 48 on mine and that's how many i counted 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 48 
there's an I don't know remember what the number is, but you you don't want that many mites per bee. Is there a bee in my? He's right uh, next to my ear. Maybe he's just he's just next to my ear. He's on the outside. Oh, okay. He's, I can just hear him in it's my a ear. Ghost bee. Here, let me flip him. Okay, so that was a good mic count. Well, I mean, <laughs> well, it was a bad mic count. <laughs> it was a mic count that but, was done well. Uh -huh. <laughs> there you that's, go. That's, that's what, the best way to do it. Right. But we definitely will want so, to treat that. So, so we're in the process of buying a whole package. And then, of, uh, and this will require uh, each box gets two strips. So you have two strips here and two strips here. One in the front, one in the back, and they'll fit I like, probably about put two, like that. I would probably put two in here too. Yeah, two. Oh, up here too? Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, six, six is fine. Yeah, so, uh, then do they hang down? Yeah, they'll yeah, hang so down. The, the, yeah, this one, if you put it up on top, it'll probably hang down into that. Yeah, okay. So, so, six. Works, so, we got two, so I need four, twelve. Six. Yeah. Eight, yeah, twelve. Yeah, you need twelve. So we're going to buy a big pack. He said so he they, needs eighteen. I think I need twenty-two or something like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our neighbor, eight. Sandy, needs she should probably have two, four, dozen. six, eight, ten. She should at least have a twelve. Yeah. And so you put those strips in, and then how long do you leave the strips in? A couple weeks. Yeah, a couple weeks. I think he said. I think he said four or five weeks. You take them back out, but they're they're going to be in there. They lose their potency after a while, uh -huh. and you, you know there's no need for them to be in there. And they're plastic, and the way that the the medicine gets distributed as the bees are rubbing up against the strips as they go in as they go back and forth in the hive and so you want to distribute it in this hive I would put one strip hanging down here and another yeah, strip one. hanging down here and same thing down below as you all the way down so we'll, we'll come you know, over and, and, and as you and as you treat you know on this hive it's on these two sides and the one below it's on these two and you know okay it just, just sort alternate. of inner yeah alternate so that it gets distributed throughout as much Well, that was excellent. It's upside down. Not in it. You're right. You're right. You're right. Got it. it says this side up. It says it. It says it. Good thing, too. Yeah. It has to tell you. You have a little stick here. Okay. We don't have to. We just have to. The way Dave Hokad does it, if you do one hive, you look get the oldest hive, and that's the one you test. And that'll if that has uh, mites, then the others probably have mites too. Right. It may not have it to the same extent as the oldest one, but you're but still it gonna. It's, it's a precursor of what to expect in the others, and you don't disrupt all the all the bee hives. Until you, put, until you put the mic But this is, uh, here, did you take a picture of that? I did. That's, that is a lot of... 30 mites. 30 mites. That's a lot of, a lot of mites. I can't believe you got that number right on. <laughs> That's right. Okay. All right, excellent.